Hi everyone, welcome back. A few videos ago I opened the box um, that I keep all my spare leftover pieces of design team work or any bits, this one, and it had all sorts of prints in. And underneath the first couple of sheets was a load of tags and they were from a Tracy Fox. I'm not sure whether it was a kit or a freebie. But I thought, right, I'm just going to get onto them now and get some of them, well, all of them finished and into my shoebox behind me where I keep all the tags. So I've decorated some of them up. This one I've just put a little pocket in, just with a plain piece of paper in for journaling. And these are all ready to go into pockets in a journal. Just stuck bits of ephemera on. This is a sheet of Tracy's labels and I think the definition labels and I printed them onto tracing paper so I just tore it and glued it with print stick it did smudge a bit but that's okay so this one I just put some trim on with a die cut flower this one I just put a belly band made out of a dictionary page and a die cut flower and this is a little envelope that I found in my stash. I think it was gifted to me in a swap. This has got a little vellum pocket and a journal card. The same with this one, a little vellum pocket and I've put one of the smaller tags in the front. This one I've just put a few bits of ephemera on. Another vellum pocket there and I need a tag to go in there. There's a small one. This has just got a journal card glued on the front. This has got another little pocket uh, side belly band and just a plain piece of card with some of bits of the ephemera on. Pocket there. I just need something to pop into there. That's fine. Now I've got a few blue ones left. And here's one that I've just stuck another pocket on from my stash. And I've just put some pieces of paper from my, um, that are in the file at the side of me. Just, I just keep there for collage or anything like that. So they're little hidden journal spots. So these are the bits I've got left. So this one I'm going to put... Well, I've got a piece of vellum here that I can use on there. So I just use a circle punch just to cut a little divot out. Then I glue round the bottom. You can see the glue through the vellum, but that's fine by me. So I'm going to stick that on. and then trim the edges off. These cut off bits of vellum can go into my scraps pot ready for when I'm doing um, snippets or clusters. And then we'll find a journal card to go in the front there. And I'm trying to use all these little pieces up as well. Glue them all on somewhere. And I got some little birds here, trying to find some in the right colours. There's a lovely blue bird. Well, it's got blue on anyway, so I'm not sure if it is an actual blue bird. But I'll stick that on. I really do need to use a lot of my ephemera. I've just got loads cut out and laying around in boxes here and honestly I suppose you're all the same got loads of stuff I keep saying I'm going to file this in proper order instead of just delving into it there's all sorts of bits in here from all sorts I did have them all in bags labelled who they were from but that's sort of gone by the wayside now blue label there I could stick that on I think that's from G Kerr 
and I'll stick that just behind there and you see it when you take the journal card out. Like that. So that's another one done. They're not on terribly thick paper, these, but I decided not to back them onto any thicker paper because sometimes your journals get a bit fat. So the thicker your tags and envelopes are, the even fatter they become. So I'm just going to leave them on thin paper. Um, let's see what else we've got there. There's another one there that could have a pocket on of some sort. See that? Sticking that on would make it too fat. Or would it? Hmm. No. That would make a nice little pocket, but it says the wrong colour. It says violet, which doesn't really go with the theme of things. And that butterfly doesn't go with the blues I've got left. So see if I can stick it onto one of these. It goes more with these colours. Yeah, I'll stick it on that one. So when this goes live, this video, I'm thinking I shall um, make that the last one for two or three weeks because we're going away. And instead of scheduling everything, I just thought I would take a break from filming because I'm not going to have internet access very much where we're going. So I don't want to be tied to, you know, if anything goes wrong with the video when it uploads and I can't get internet or... So I think it might be best if I just don't schedule any filming and see how it... Um, sort of take a three weeks off. I'll stick that down the side of there. Sometimes I have proper plans of what I'm going to film. You know, if I'm making something specific, envelopes or like a couple of weeks ago, I did the used a used envelope and made a notebook. And then other times I just pull things out and craft. And this is sort of what I'm doing today. I really do want to try and use all this up, but I don't know if I'll be able to. But there's a bluebird. He can sit on the top there. So I'm going to call that one done as well. I did all these die cuts. I borrowed um, some dies from my friend Sharon, and I these were for a project. Jump ahead, I think it was on. It was definitely on a Facebook group, but I couldn't tell you now which one it was. So and they're quite delicate, and they get tangled up. So I should really use them. I'll put another one on there. As I film this, it's Saturday and it will probably go out on a Saturday. My favourite day of the week. As John will be in the kitchen tonight. And I can just relax. Now this, these are a bit bright white so what I like to do is just daub them with my dauber just to take the stark white off them what I'm going to do is actually put a tag in that one so I'm going to call that one finished that's another one finished. Just showing you that one, haven't I? Bit of a mishmash this video, so bear with me. 
they're done that's done that's done i need some more vellum for a pocket let me just see if i can find any in my folder here there's some there's two lots there i'm going to stick that on there and I'm not going to cut a divot out of this one because it is a torn edge and it goes down at one side. So I'll make that do like that. Just need a little bit more glue on that side. And I can trim the ends off. That can slot in there, but I would just like something on there. And I think I'll stick one of the birds on it as well. Okay, I've just got a few bits left here and I don't think I can utilise them all. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. All these can just go in the box at the side of me, unused pieces. I do try to use everything, but it's not worked this time. So, I will say thank you for joining me today not very motivational video i must admit but i've got a lot done and this can fill my shoe box up now with tags in fact the goodness knows how many there is there must be about 20. so that's some bits cleared out of my box as well and i think they're really pretty so I shall see you in a few weeks. Bye.